Hello everyone in the Tech TV family. First of all, I like to wish you a very very happy new year 2021. In this new year, all your efforts to give you a great success. So on the occasion of a new year, I thought we can have some quick game about exadata. So this is a new item so far we have not done that. So if you like this, then we can continue this quiz in a different type of format. Let's get the game started. So this is going to be a word puzzle and it's fully on the exadata terms. So you have 10 questions and you have 10 points each. So you will have 30 seconds to crack the answer and you will get two clues at every 10 second interval. Let's look at the quick sample. So this is the word and let's get the clock started. So at the first 10 seconds you will get the first clue. So the clue, first clue is the, it's a component of the Xerata stack. And then on the next 10 seconds, you will get the next clue to answer. So the second clue is this term is the manage the storage systems for the Xerata. So now you're going to find the answer. Yes, the answer is storage server. So the storage server is a highly optimized storage server that runs on the Xerata system software to store and access the Oracle database data. And many of the secret sauce of Xerata performance that relies on its storage servers. Now let's play the actual game. Let's look at the first question. So it's a two word. And your clock is running now. And your first clue is, this is a new feature of Xerata XATM. So this is one of a very key feature in the release on the version of XATM. And the next clue is, this is the feature that closely works with RDMA to achieve at the breakthrough performance in the IO operations. Now the answer is persistent memory. Persistent memory is a new form of non-volatile memory that is different from the flash-based solutions. So the new Xerata XATM provision with the persistent memory that is steered in front of a flash and disk in the storage server. So this helps to improve the cache capacity and the IO performance of the system. And very important is that persistent memory commit accelerator that helps for the faster log writes, which reduces the commit weight event hugely at the database. Let's look at the next question. Here is a second uh, question. So you have 10 seconds for the next clue. Yes, the first clue is, it is a significant feature that is part of the secret SAS of Exadata. And the second clue is, this greatly improve the query performance by holding more and more metadata about the data that is stored on the disk. And the answer is the storage indexes. The storage indexes is part of a suit of features that is often referred to as the secret sauce of Exadata that can improve the query performance of the Exadata systems by holding the more and more metadata about the data that is stored inside the disk. The cell physical IO bytes saved by the storage index that is specified in the explain plan that gives you the cumulative information about the performance gain used by the storage indexes. Now let's get the question three. Third question. So it's again a two letter word. And your first clue is. So it's a storage that is sliced from the physical disk to LAN. So it is a storage term. So that gets differentiated from physical disk to LAN. And the second clue is it is a location that contains the OAS images Xerata software binaries, metrics, and various other configuration files and logs. And the answer is the system area. So the system area is the first two disk drives in each and every storage cell that contains the mirrored copies of the Xerata storage server that is also called as a system area. This system area contains the storage server software, storage cell operating system storage, metrics, and alert repository, etc. So the other term related to the storage area, the Xerata hierarchy is the physical disk, and then that is partitioned into LANs. 
and that is again getting partitioned into a cell disk after the storage system area that is allocated and the cell disk is further divided into multiple grid disk now let's go to the question four here is your fourth uh, question so again it's a two letter word and your first clue is so this ensures the ongoing functionality of the accelerator software so this is a kind of a process that ensures the ongoing functionality of the Xerata software. And the second clue is this monitors the heartbeat with the management service and the cell SRV process. And the answer is restart service, which is also called as RS. The restart service is the process that runs on the cell servers which monitors the heartbeat with the management service and the cell, ser cell service process. If the heartbeat failed, the services are restarted and notifications are sent to the end nodes. So there are totally three processes that runs on the restart services. First one is a cell service, which serves the database request for the disk IO and advanced accelerator cell operations. The second one is the management service, which is the primary interface to administer, manage and query the status of accelerator cell. And the third one is the restart service. Let's go to the question number five. So this is the fifth question. So it's a term that contains four words. And the first clue is, so this is the technology that is enhanced in the version of Xerata XATM to improve the performance of Xerata XATM. We already talked about persistent memory. So this is another feature. And this is a technology that enables a low latency data transfer at memory to memory. So it's a technology used for memory to memory transfer. You guessed it right. The answer is remote direct memory access, which is also called as RDMA. So the RDMA is a low latency transfer of information between the compute nodes at the memory to memory level. So without burdening the CPU. The Xerata XATM is enabled with RDMA over Converse Ethernet, which is also called as a Rocky, which improves the per compute performance along with the persistent memory. Now let's go to the question number six. This is a question number six, and it's a term with three words. And your first clue is, it's a storage class that enables the DBS to control the cache option. So this is related to the storage term. And the second clue is, this can be assigned to a database table or index or a partition and an LOB column. So this is a table level storage class. And the answer is cell flash cache. The cell flash cache is a storage class that enables DBA to control the flash cache options at the database level. So you can control it using alter table, table name, and then the storage class with the self flash cache, whether to keep default or not. So it comes up with the three options. When you set it with the none, the, the objects will be excluded from the flash cache. And when you set it to default, it will be given with a normal priority. Whereas if you give us a keep, then the objects will be given with a higher priority to be kept in the flash cache. Now let's go to question number seven. Here's the question number seven, and it's a term which is having four words, and your first clue for the same is, it's a parameter that enabled hybrid columnar compression. So this is the term that is related with hybrid columnar compression, and your second clue is, this particular term is using a ZLIP compression, and it gives six X of compression ratio. You could have cracked it right, and the answer is compress for query high. So the compress for query high is a storage class that is used to specify what type of hybrid columnar compression to be used for the tables. There are four flavors for the hybrid columnar compression, query low, query high, archive low, and archive high. Query low gives 4x of compression ratio with LZ0 compression algorithm. And query high gives 6x of compression ratio with CLIP algorithm and archive log gives 7x with CLIP algorithm and archive high gives 12x with BZ2 algorithm. Let's go to the question number eight. So question number eight. So it's a two word term. And 
your first clue is so this is the term that is related to the exerata health check so this is an important uh, command to be executed during your exerata health check and the second clue is it's a commonly used to identify the errors in the compute and cell nodes and the answer is the list alert history so the list alert history is a command that is used in dbm cli and cell cli to list out any errors that in the compute or the cell servers for example a disk failure or the process errors those will be reported in the list alert history so there are similar health check commands are list cell detail list cell disk detail and list grid disk detail list flash cache detail and list db server detail let's go to question number 9 here is a question number 9 so it's a it's a term with the two words and your first clue for the same is it's a term related to exerata smart scan so this is one of a key term that is used in the exerata smart scan and the second clue is this is the term used to filter only the columns that is requested in the query and you guess it right and the answer is column projection so the column projection is one of the operation in the exerata smart scan the column projection helps to identify only the requested columns in the query and then it filters those particular data when it sends to the compute instance the similar operations that is part of the exerata smart scan is a predicate filtering that is acting on the where class of sql statements to exclude the rows that do not match the query results and the other one is a bloom filter offloading where the storage server software assist in performing all the bloom filter based table joins now let's go to the last question question number 10 here is the last question and you're just one step away for closure so it's a two word letter and your first clue is so this is a term that used to identify the system faults so this is the term which is used to identify the system faults and it is the command that is invoked from ilum fault management shell yes you would have got it right and the answer is fm adm faulty so the fm adm faulty is the command to identify for any faulty components in the exerata hardware fm adm faulty is a command that is invoked from within the oracle ilum fault management shell so through fm adm you can do the following for example view the set of diagnostic engines agents that are currently participating in the fault management and view the list of system components that have been diagnosed as associated with a fault or defect or an alert and you can also perform the administrative tasks to, that is related to those entities so with this we are done with the questions and you can get your score now great job everyone i hope this was fun with a lot of learnings once again every i wish everyone a very very happy new year 2021 As usual, thanks for all your support you given in 2020, and I wish the same continues for this upcoming year. Please like this video, share this video, and subscribe to Tech TV. See you again on my next video. Thank you.